Hello and welcome to another update video about Gala. Not too much um, price action since the last um, video. Obviously, we're here uh, on Sunday, so there is not too much volume. Bear in mind, tomorrow the stock market is closed, so it could very well be that the market will remain quiet for a couple of days, especially after the strong movements of the last few days. Um, however, we are still here in the situation where Gala can still move higher as long as we are holding above the green support area. That is the critical area here going down all the way to 3.41 cents. Below that we have to expect a much larger downturn um, and then we'll have another decision point down here which will be sort of, just let me just identify that again, round about um, 2.4 cents. So we should then not drop below 2.4 to maintain still a larger uptrend. But within this smaller pattern here, it's really important to hold at 3.41 cent level. Now, in terms of the Elliott wave count, I believe we are currently in a fifth wave. We see a bearish divergence here between waves three and five, um, which sort of indicates sort of the end of a trend here on the one hour chart. Uh, trend exhaustion doesn't mean it has to come down straight away, but it's sort of, you know, you, you would normally, normally not expect when you see bearish divergence that this um, still pushes way higher. Of course, it can still go high. It's only an indicator. Um, on the flip side, we at the moment see here a hidden um, bullish divergence as well. So what does that mean? That means below um, the wave two, if you look at the wave two and the wave four lows, yeah, we've got a higher low in wave four, but we have a lower low on the MACD indicating a bullish hidden, bu hidden bullish divergence. So we could get, this could be a hint that we get a breakout to the upside. In addition to that, on the one hour chart, we have a bullish crossover now on the MACD. Um, now that is not, again, it's not a signal 100% of the time that always works out. We had a fake out here as well. Nevertheless, it is an indicator that shows, okay, maybe if we get, we've got the hidden bullish divergence, we've got a bullish crossover on the one hour MACD. If we now get the breakout out of this wedge pattern, which to be honest is also normally to be considered a bullish reversal pattern, we could get this fifth wave in. Yeah, but it would most likely be, at least that's what I see at the moment, the fifth wave of the fifth. Um, as I said, we have a bearish divergence as well, higher level, um, which doesn't need to play out yet because the edit wave count still suggests at least one more wave up. And um, however, this is only valid as long as we stay above the green box. Green box is the more relevant support here um, against which we can focus on higher, which doesn't mean um, that we necessarily need to go down that low, of course not, yeah, but this is the level that we need to hold to still get this fifth wave in. Now, within that fifth wave, there are various possibilities. We could say maybe all of this was just an ABC structure and we come down once more, but we'd still have a chance then from the green box to move higher as long as the 3.41 cent level holds, or if we get the breakout of this wedge immediately um, against the wave two support here, which is sort of the micro support at 3.82 cents, we could um, move up straight away in five waves. Yeah, It's not a great pattern. It doesn't look entirely healthy anymore. Why? Because the move down is it's basically coming down a bit too low. So if I draw the FIPS again, what normally a wave four should do, we can see that we've now come back to the 61.8% retracement. So I could look at that as a one, two, one, two setup. Or it is very simple. I can look at it as a diagonal pattern, one, two, three, four, five, but then I need to see proof in the fifth wave. And this is now turned into something unreliable, I can tell you that, because if you get, we are already in the fifth wave of the fifth, so I'd be extremely careful still with a long trade here, because if you are in the fifth wave of the fifth, presumably, this is not, you know, don't treat this as sort of being uh, definitely the case, but that's sort of what I see. I mean, we have the bearish divergence on the chart between waves three and five. So we are sort of getting probably towards the end of the trend. And that means um, this could all be nice and work out, but we now have an, a chart that doesn't look entirely healthy anymore up here because of the, well, it's not exactly an overlap between waves one and four, but near enough. And we've come down to the 61.8 retracement. Four away four, that's not healthy. So it could be a diagonal, but as always with diagonal patterns, you need proof, which means when you have a diagonal, you need to normally wait for the five waves to get confirmation. And then when we have a three wave move down afterwards, that would be an entry point. But how attractive is this entry point if we assume that we are sort of getting towards the end of this trend? Now, again, you can trade it, of course, but 
Uh, I'm just saying, be careful. You know, you, you have to decide what you do. I'm just telling you my view here. Um, you know, especially in light of that bearish divergence that we see. Now that bearish divergence could just mean we come down here, make this larger ABC, have another chance to enter here. So I don't see any interesting trade setup here. The only interesting setup I would see if, is if we come down once more into the green box for another entry, for another long entry. This was already a long entry, it would have worked out. If we now come back into this area again, it might be another bounce to the upside, yeah, because this might just become a larger fourth wave, large A, overshooting B wave, come down in C. Saying that, the move down doesn't look entirely impulsive. If this was a C wave down, it would normally be impulsive. So yeah, things are getting a bit tough here. I would say we have a good chance to move up here because of the hidden bullish divergence I've shown you and because we might break out of this bullish pattern. But again, until we break out, you don't know, right? So I would not just try to enter a trade here before we have a breakout signal. This would be a breakout trade with which I would be careful anyway because you're far further away from key support. Um, but still, you know, um, this is a breakout situation. Obviously, I'm doing analysis. I'm not telling you what to trade necessarily. So this could be a breakout. And if we get the breakout, it would indicate the fifth wave to the upside is coming. What could be a target for that small fifth wave? I believe we looked at it in the previous video. We go to the high of the third wave, go to the current low of the fourth. And we've got a range between 5.6 cents and 6.2 cents. This is sort of the ideal target range. Ideally, I'd be looking actually at 6.2 because the 61.8 extension here would really only take us back to the third wave high. So it might then become a double top here out of which we could break down. But it shows you that there is not really too much reward in here trading this based on the count, based on the analysis. Bearing in mind, these can always push higher than anticipated if it's going to be an impulse this fifth wave. But bear in mind, this is presumably getting towards the end of a trend here. Um, yeah, and that's the situation in which we are. So primarily still expected higher. Yeah, so please understand that. Still higher as long as we're holding 3.41 cents. The main support and short-term micro support here, that 3.82 cent level against which we can focus on higher. But then at the same time, we now need to be watching for strong reversal signals and breakout signals to the downside. Um, so again, if we break out of this wedge to the downside, it would be short term bearish and we have um, another turnaround opportunity in the green box. But if we drop below that, then we have a much deeper pullback and a situation in which we have to say that probably this rally to the upside was already over. Okay, and that's my update about Gala. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.